The Hyperloop will help Louisiana in many amazing ways. For one, you could reduce distance from Baton Rouge to New Orleans in less than 10 minutes. Now, no longer having to worry about the boundaries of time, distance, or costs, we can create these cities' infrastructures to a brand new level yet to be seen. Suddenly, you have employment opportunities of people being able to travel across the state without having to worry about any commute. It's simplicity. So that the whole concept is getting a pod, shoot it through a tube that eliminates all drag forces, that slows the pod down, but yet I'm sure it will revolutionize transportation as we know it. I've worked on the levitation system for the pod and figuring out the best way to get the pod to hover off the ground and eliminate all that rolling friction you have with tires. In the pod, there's gonna be a cavern that's gonna hold uh, passengers within it. And of course, air has to be delivered to them. And it was my job to design a system to do that adequately within the setting of the Hyperloop. Designing the braking system for our Hyperloop pod, uh, we started looking at standardized braking systems like you'll see on trucks and on cars. The only difference being ours needed to be autonomous. Uh, so we looked into using what's called electrohydraulic actuators. And from then on, we designed our system around simplicity and effectiveness. I'm also in charge of structures and materials, uh, basically deciding how strong the pod needs to be and what materials work best for the type of uh, functions that we're using. So what I've been working on is a wheeled propulsion system. It's comprised of batteries, a motor controller, an electric motor, and basically what's the back of a motorcycle. And it's going to be used to get the pod up to really high speeds, and it'll also be used as an emergency brake um, and do something called regenerative braking. Uh, I helped out with the electronics part. I, do, I was in charge of the wiring schematics, making basic pictorial diagrams to represent everything. And besides that, I was in charge of weights, gathering material information, making sure we record how much it weighs for you know, engineering purposes. Hyperloop would help Louisiana in general by basically um, allowing quick transportation. And what that would do is you have someone living in New Orleans or someone living in Baton Rouge, and um, if they want to commute, that solves their problem.